In this video, I'm going to go over how to use OF Stream to write to files in C++. So the first thing we'll do is include the fstream library where OF Stream is defined. Then we'll make an OF Stream object. So we'll say OF Stream and we'll call it out file. Now to actually write to the file, we'll have to open it first. So here I'll say out file dot open file.txt. And this will try to open the file called file.txt. Then to write to the file, we're going to use the stream insertion operator. So we'll say out file less than less than, and we'll just say content followed by end L to put a new line there as well. And then we'll say out file .close to close the file. So we'll save this and then we'll compile it. We'll say G plus plus dash O D D dot C P P. And then if we run our program and check file.txt, we'll see content inside of there. So that's the basic idea, but there's several other things we should go over. So one, here when we try to open up the file so that we're able to write to it, it's possible that something could go wrong here. So for example, if the file is read-only, we're not going to be able to open it. We want to detect that. We want to detect that failure so we can handle it gracefully. There's a function called fail that will actually be true if the file failed to open. So here I'll say if out file dot fail is true, that means we failed to open the file and we'll exit gracefully. So we'll say C out error opening file followed by a new line. And then we're going to return one. We're going to return one instead of returning zero because returning one is a signal to the terminal here, to the shell, that something went wrong in the execution of our program. Now I actually have a file called badfile.txt and badfile.txt does have read-only permissions. So instead of opening file.txt, I'm going to try to open badfile.txt just so we can test this out. So we'll recompile our program and then we'll run it again. And now we get error opening file. So that's how we can handle that issue. So when we do open a file successfully, we can write pretty much whatever we want to it. We could write doubles, ints, strings, all using the stream insertion operator, the same as we would with C out. So let's open up file.txt again. And this time let's write some double int and string values. So I'll say double X is equal to 4.5, int Y is equal to 10, string Z, is equal to ABC. And then we'll write all these values to the file. So we'll say out file X and line, out file Y and line, and out file Z and line. And we'll do a recompilation. And then we'll run it. And we'll check file.txt. And we see now that we get content 4.5, 10, and ABC. So we can write these kinds of values to the file as well. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting is that we'd already written content to the file before up here, but when we opened the file again and wrote to it, we got content 4.5, 10 and ABC. So we might expect content to be in the file twice because we already wrote it there once before. And in here we write it again, but we don't because what happens when we open the file is that if it doesn't exist, it will be created. If it does exist, anything we write to the file will take the place of anything that was there before, as if we started with a fresh file. If we did want to append to the existing contents of a file, we would use another argument in this open function here. We would use a flag it's called, called OF stream colon colon app. This will actually now append what we write to the existing contents of file.txt. So if we save this, do a compilation and then run it. And now we check file.txt. We're going to have that content twice because we're appending to the file and we're writing the same content to the file again here. Now, one more thing, this out file.close here, it might not be totally obvious why that has to be there, but it's a best practice to close the file after done working with it 
it has the practical effect of freeing up some memory as well. So this has been the basics of working with OF Stream in C++ to write to files. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.